Have you ever wanted to make your own missions, vehicles, or camouflages for War Thunder? Well, if you have, this is the video for you, for you because we are taking a look at the War Thunder CDK. This is part one of a guide to War Thunder's content development kit, also known as the CDK. So, obviously the first thing you'll want to do is go to wiki.warthunder.com slash warthundercdk and hit this button down here, download current version. Obviously I don't need to do that, I've already got it. So once you've done that, you'll then get one of the, you'll then get a thing with an, that looks something like this, War Thunder CDK 2024. It may have updated by the time you see this, but it will be something like this. So you want to double click that and uh, you give it a bit, give it a bit, give it a bit, give it a bit. Yeah, do you want to allow this app to make changes? Yes. So you get select the language, okay, and and here you've got to make sure that in, it, it installs in War Thun, in the War Thunder fo folders. Um, you hit next. Obviously, I've already got it, so you don't, so I don't need to do it. But it will install a whole folder on your computer, and once that's all done, you will have these three shortcuts. So. The first one we're going to look at is the mission editor because that's the easiest to use and we'll make a very simple mission in which you spawn in whatever the hell in any vehicle on any map and you know you can put it in any location I'll just have I'll just show show you the how to move move spawns and all that Okay, now it has um, opened up. Um, you can open up any one of these um, binary dump files. Obviously, you won't have this list here, so you'll have to hit this button here, um, and you can just scroll through here, find whatever button you want. Um, we'll have we'll go with. Um, Air Equatorial Island. This is um, in game. It's known as um. okay. This is probably a good time to say that I forgot to tell you how to adjust the camera. So you hit space to allow you to move the mouse. Space again turns it into the free camera. Um, this is W and holding Shift makes you go a lot faster. So W for W forward. Shift makes you go faster for everything. E is straight up. As you can see, it's still up when I do that. Q is up based off where the cam is pointing. As you can see, it's sideways here and up here. S is backwards. D sideways. A left. Z down compared to the camera. Um, X is also backwards, just the same as S and C is directly down. And, uh, yeah. So, as you can see, we've got... So now we've loaded up this whole island map, which you might recognize from the game. And you can see it's, it's got all these sectors for um, of the sea, and I believe these are paths that ships can move along or something but if you have a look down here there are also these blue lines and these are um, routes that ground targets move along so if you've played on this map before you may well have seen AI ground targets drive along along this road here and all the all the row, all the blue lines on the map. Um, so we'll just get, so um, we go, so obviously next thing to do is to get something to spawn. So that's this button here called create unit. So you, as you can see you move it around, there's this little plane, you click, we've now it annoyingly places a unit not where it's pointing but anyway so this will sp 
when um, activated, when the mission is activated, it will spawn a plane here, pointing in the direction of this red arrow. A green arrow is, of course, up for the plane, and a blue arrow will be left. So if we adjust them, we can adjust the role of the plane at spawn. So we'll rename this name this to player, real quick, and leave it as Armada. That's that's the um, name for groups of air vehicles. So so here we can change the um, location parameters. We'll just change that to one five hundred, and so the middle one is altitude. So as you can see, we've just moved it up a load. Oh dear, I'm adding spaces. So um, you've got to press space to activate free camera and press space again to let the mouse move. Space again, you've got your free camera and you can spin it out. So as you can see, here's your player aircraft and we may as well just move it up even more. And we'll switch the class to... You can make the class whatever you want, but if you want to start it, start this mission in game, I believe you have to um, own the aircraft in game. We'll make we'll make this an A the A an A four B, and as you can see, we can edit all the um, the uh, weapon presets. So this will that's the gun pods, you know, Max Mark eighty one Snake Eyes as many as as possible. They they match up with the presets in game pretty much precisely so we'll give it the AGM 12 B's and um, well that's basically that's basically all you need to make a simple explore the map mission I believe so we'll just go ahead and save that save it as um, now when you go to save it, it will automatically save it into the levels folder, but this is where all the map files are found. So you want to go back to the War Thunder folder and go into the user missions folder. And I'll name this 04A4B Bourbon. Save. Now we open up the game. Alright, so now we've opened up the game and we can go into this user missions folder and uh is it there? Is it there? Oh it's not there. Okay, I've done something wrong. Oh yeah, I forgot okay. So let's go back into mission settings. Player team A. We will we need to set the wing to player. There we go. You can also uh set the number of vehicles um, in the group so properties it's now the player vehicle um, you can also adjust the number you can go into plane um, with the uh, adjust the wing formation but we'll just I'll, ju I'll just leave it as a single vehicle so uh, yeah and there's something else I need to do, I believe. Uh, another, th you can also go to um, environment. You can have a, you can change the weather. So as you can see, um, I thought I made it into a thunderstorm. Hello. Good. Uh, hazy, cloudy. Oh, okay. I get. I guess. I guess. I don't know. Equatorial island. There's no such thing as cloudy. Um, but if we go back into mission editor, we can also go to rotate. Um, you can just, I don't know, make the plane point up at spawn. So if we save again, and the other thing I need to do is. Um, if we have a look here, maybe mission settings, mission, aha, type, 
Yes, yeah, single mission. Um, game type, no. S um, other parameters. Tags, maybe? No. Or, yeah, I think if I add the western tag or something. Lo oh, location description, maybe? No. Um, let's just try refresh it. No, 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 no. Oh boy, I'm completely lost. <laughs> well, I guess this will be a learning experience for me. Common parameters? No. Single player parameter. Campaign. Campaign. Western. That's what we want to do. Now refresh. Is it under Western Front? No. Oh. Save it now. And now refresh that. Mission. Yes! Yes! There we are. There we are. And now we can spawn in and we yes and we spawn pointing up we spawn pointing up and it got all my got all my weather settings but ah the map the map I had it saved to ah okay yeah I have okay I yeah the map is it is in fact just a preview that's something I have I hadn't appreciated really Okay, back to the hangar. We need to. So that okay, that yeah, that's just a water map. Okay. So I've got to uh, find it. Uh, Equatorial Island. There. Now we save that again. Okay, back in the hangar and yeah, refresh it. Perfect. Bourbon Island day, partly cloudy. Apply. And we should spawn pointing almost vertical on the Bourbon Island map. Perfect. So, uh, yeah. There we go. We have...